triple screen flight simulator raises your home cockpit to a new level of awesome. The three screens wrap around your field of view and provide a unique immersive experience. There's room in the cockpit enclosure for a variety of modified keyboards, switch panels, and dual throttle quadrants. It works with a variety of default and add-on aircraft, especially airliners. This project is made mostly from 1-inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe, foam insulation, and wood boards. Use off-the-shelf computer, monitors, and flight simulator accessories. We included two free videos that will help you work with PVC pipe, so be sure to take a look at those. Clean, measure, and cut the various lengths of PVC pipe for the top frame as listed in the instruction manual. Cut the longer lengths first. The shortest pieces are important attachments between PVC connectors. They're called betweens. We'll start by assembling the instrument panel frame. We included several pipe frame maps for this project. Print them and have them handy. The first subassembly will look like this. Lay out the PVC pipe and attachments for the frame as shown in the instruction manual. Then attach each part hand tight. Now we've sped up the video here, but you should feel free to take your time. So let's take another look. Wherever there are two connectors held together by a between, the connectors should fit right next to each other, so you won't see the between. Next, assemble these four vertical posts. Each one is a 4 inch length of pipe, a 3 inch long pipe, and a T-shaped connector. Add another 4 inch length of pipe to each one. Now build two more posts and add a 7 inch long pipe to each one. Add all six posts to the frame. The posts with the seven inch pipes go on opposite ends. Next is the monitor shelf frame. Lay out all the parts as shown in the instruction manual and attach them all hand tight. This part fits onto the vertical posts, like this. This is a good time to retighten all the connectors. For the next subassembly, we need to drill a couple of holes right through a 45 degree elbow connector. We're going to use a special technique to make sure the holes are aligned properly.